Today we venture off into the northern part of Thailand to one of its most popular destinations, Chiang Rai. Chiang Rai has several attractions, including temples, waterfalls, and a night market where you can buy souvenirs and sample authentic Thai cuisine. Chiang Rai is packed with wonderful sights and experiences that you won't want to miss. In this video, we'll count down the top 10 things to do in Chiang Rai. Number 10. Grab some local favorites and shop at the Chiang Rai Night Bazaar. If you're looking for somewhere to spend the evening enjoying some live entertainment, delicious street cuisine, and a cold drink, look no further than the Chiang Rai Night Bazaar. There are a variety of live performances available, from music to theater to Thai comedy shows. Chiang Rai Night Bazaar is known for its large selection of locally crafted items from the surrounding ethnic villages. In addition to the usual fare of apparel, cuisine, and paintings by local artists, you can also discover some unusual items here. The market opens daily at 6 p.m., so be sure to check it out. Number 9. Visit the Golden Triangle The Golden Triangle is the border of which three countries meet – Thailand, Myanmar, and Laos. This was at one time the largest area for drug trafficking. The current caregiving efforts have resulted in it becoming a popular tourist destination. From this vantage point, visitors may see the territory that links the three countries, encircled by a serene body of water. If you want to see the Golden Triangle from the water, you can rent a boat at Sop Rock. Be sure to also stop by the Opium Museum to get the history of this popular attraction. Number 8. Visit Ban Dam, aka the Black House. The structures of Ban Dam are a mishmash of architectural styles. This is not a religious building, but rather a combination museum and an art gallery. Tawan Dukeni, a well-known artist from Chiang Rai, created Ban Dam. His works often deal with morbid subjects like death and agony. It's true that some of the artwork at Ban Dam could make you feel uneasy, but overall the museum is well worth a visit. 40 of the little black cottages there are furnished with exotic materials like crocodile skins, furs, and bones. Admission is 80 baht. Number 7. Explore Singha Park The entrance to the park is marked by a huge golden lion monument, and visitors often pause to take pictures. There's a local shopping and dining center. Other attractions in the park include a little zoo with exotic animals, including giraffes and zebras. You can also enjoy a zip line above the tea fields or ride a rented bike. It's all possible in Singha Park. The park is not accessible by public transportation, so be sure to catch a tuk-tuk or catch a taxi. Because of the park's size, visitors will need to either rent bicycles or hop on the park's miniature tourist train. There is no charge to enter, however, activities like the zip line, bike rentals, and the tourist train all have associated fees. Number 6. Take in the scenery of Mai Fa Luang Garden. At the top of Doi Tong, tourists will find landscaped gardens and a view of flowers and plants that will take their breath away. The beautiful flowers in the garden are grown and cared for by local villagers, who benefit from the money paid by visitors and the jobs made possible by related projects. This park also has other activities to enjoy such as the treetop walk, along with many others. Admission to the park starts at 90 baht. Number 5. Spend the day with elephants at Elephant Step Sanctuary If you commit to the whole Elephant Step Shangri schedule, adults can expect to pay 2,500 baht with children paying a reduced fare. This includes travel, lunch, water, tea, coffee, insurance, following elephants through the jungle, bathing and feeding them, drivers, guides, tree planting, and plastic boots. You'll be picked up from your hotel around 8.30 a.m., and the driver will drop you back off around 4.30 p.m. The first order of business upon entering the hotel is to have some hot beverages and a quick wardrobe change. Then, spend the day on foot with elephants in the wild seeing them in their natural habitat. If you're a lover of animals, this is a must-try attraction. Number 4. Visit the Kun Korn Waterfall one of the most beautiful natural attractions in Chiang Rai is the Kun Korn Waterfall. Upon entering, you'll have a 30-minute trek through a bamboo grove. The path is slick, so be sure to wear sturdy shoes. The water flow at Kun Korn's waterfall is extremely vigorous. It's the highest waterfall in all of Chiang Rai province, measuring a whopping 70 meters in height. To allow for a round trip, photo opportunities in the forest, and some time to soak in the waterfall's cool spray, you should set aside at least two hours. 
It's possible to go swimming, however, the water is quite chilly. Take caution, the waterfall closes at 4.30 p.m., so be sure to plan accordingly. Admission to the waterfall is free, so enjoy! Number 3. Visit Wat Wai Plakong The temple is known for its enormous white statue of Guan Yin, often referred to as Big Buddha of Shang Rai. The image represents Guan Yin, the Chinese goddess of mercy. Visitors can enter the Guan Yin statue and ride an elevator up 25 stories to the observation deck. Artwork depicting Guan Yin, other legendary beings, and trees is painted in white plaster on the upper level walls. Also on the grounds, a nine-story pagoda in the Chinese style sits atop yet another hill, guarded by Chinese dragons. The monument is referred to as the Nine-Tiered Pagoda. The attraction is open daily from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. and costs 40 baht. Keep note, this is a religious site, so be sure to wear proper clothing. Number 2. Visit Wat Rong Sui Ten, aka the Blue Temple The name Blue Temple gives away the building's most distinctive feature. It is, you guessed it, all blue. There's a big white sitting Buddha statue inside and, depending on the light, will appear blue. Many of the blue statues outside are also quite detailed, including the dragons and guards that stand watch at the entryway. In addition to being stunning, the temple's entry is totally free of charge, so be sure to check it out. The number one spot is reserved for Wat Rong Kun, aka the White Temple. Number one on our list goes to the White Temple. This is one of Chiang Rai's most popular attractions. The white buildings are built with plaster and shards of glass that shine under the sunlight. In addition to the White Temples, there are many other attractions on the ground such as the Gate of Heaven, the Golden Building, and Ubosat. Admission is 50 baht and the attraction is open daily from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. That does it for our top 10 things to do in Chiang Rai. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, like the video, and share it with your friends. Until next time!